solid liquid and gases yes we have learned about the matter what is the matter part in it just tell me matter is nothing but which occupies the mass and uh, which occupies the space and has and has a mass is called as a matter matter consists of very small particle that is called molecules yes and molecules consist of very small particles that is called atom yes very good it is called as an atom can we see the atom no we cannot see with our naked eyes means we cannot see with our this eyes we have to use the telescope we have to use the telescope so we have and i have told you to do the homework you have to draw the arrangement of solid liquid and gases yes or no have you done that okay now in today's video we are going to discuss about the change of state what we are going to discuss discuss change of state now what is this yes this is what ice cube what is this ice cube now if you will see what is the process going on can you just tell me yes ice is changing into the liquid that is it is converted into the water when ice cube it was it is it was in which states of matter solid and solid when change into the liquid means it, it is a change of state it is nothing but a change of state okay then how does it happens can you just tell me can you just tell me how does it ha happens how we can change the states from one state to the other how we can change by heating or by cooling how we can change the state from by heating or by cooling yes okay we can change one state of matter into the another state okay now we are going to discuss what what when we change from one state to another state that that process is called that we are going to discuss in today's video one by one we are going to learn the process different process when they change from one state to the another state okay so the first is now see when liquid or now see this is what water when what what is which process is going on yes it is boiling the water is continuously boiling means and what do you observe there yes there are some vapor when i you can see the vapor means the liquid it changes into the gases the liquid it change into the gases that process is called as a evaporation that process is called as a evaporation are you getting this yes have you understood when liquid changes into the gases that process is called as a evaporation all right now when you are eating ice cream do you everyone like ice cream now ice cream is bad we can't eat ice cream am i right but you might have seen some vapor am i right so that process is called as a evaporation okay then this process happen when when it is heated when it is heated am i right when you boil the water means which uh, what you are doing actually which effect you are giving heating or cooling yes you are giving the heat so that the liquid it changes into the gaseous okay now see when you is to come in the school am i right then your mother is to bring the hot tiffin and you she is to give to you am i right she is to give uh, uh, the hot tiffin hot tiffin when you open the hot tiffin you might have opened the hot tiffin you might have seen the water on that wheel yes or no how how does it happens can you just tell me when you open the lid you might have seen the water uh, gather on that lid how does it happens because of the 
because of the liquid which was the, uh, the sorry the gas which was there means the vapor which were there it was converted into the liquid state when the gas changed into the liquid state that process is called as a condensation that process is called as a condensation when liquid gas change into the liquid state when gas change into the liquid state that process is called as a condensation you might have seen the uh, leaf water on that leaf when you boil a water when you boil the water and when you will keep the leaf on that pan and after some times when you open that uh, leaf you might have seen the uh, water which is collected on that leaf so in that case the vapors which were converted into the gaseous state they converted again into the liquid state so that process is called as a condensation are you getting that Then you see now when ice convert that when the solid changes into the water means when ice changes into the water that process is called that melting that process is called as a melting when solid change into the liquid when solid change into the liquid that process is called as a melting. For example, ice cream. You yes saw how when it is how when you remove from the fridge, how it is what, what in which state of matter it is in the solid state. Am I right? When you keep it out, it means what you gave you gave some heat. Am I right? It starts to it starts to convert solid will convert into the liquid. Am I right? So that process is called as a melting that process is called as a melting are you getting then this was the states of matter here for melting and for the evaporation we need heat but for condensation we need to cool am i right when you are bringing the tiffin at that time your mother is keeping for the cool down am i right that uh, um, vegetable she might be keeping for the making it cool at that time the, uh, the liquid the, the gas which is converted into the liquid form means that the process is called as a condensation are you getting this the next stage of matter is that freezing now when for example during the summer season you what you do you keep some water in the fridge and the refrigerator am i right you keep that water in the refrigerator at the time that water will convert into the ice means what you are doing actually you are means the water which is in the liquid state you are converting into the solid state then you are keeping in the fridge means you are cooling it means what you are doing you are cooling it so that process is called as a freezing that process is called as a freezing are you getting these are some states of Uh, this these are some states we can change from one state to another state by giving heat or by a cooling are you getting we have learned the four states of matter evaporation condensation melting and freezing are you getting this in the evaporation and melting we need heat while in condensation and freezing we need cooling we need to the we have to cool it so that that particular change uh, particular states of matter will change in another state of matter are you getting this i hope everyone has understood this change of state there are some mcqs these are some two mcqs which are given in your textbook the first mcq is that on heating the moment of particles see on heating the moment of particles now when you are providing the heat they are moving apart from each other so the moment of particle will increase or decrease yes increase so think to the increase very good now the next on cooling water changes into that state which state water changes into the ice yes that at that time we are cooling am i right so the 
these are the some change of state so today's work is that you have to remove the difficult words and read the lesson twice thank you